uh, we reached out to our NF community and uh, have some questions. And Sally from Facebook asks, are there any visual traits to be looking out for in regards to NF2? Right, well, yes, uh, there are a number of uh, ways in which NF2 can affect the eyes. Um, for instance, um, cataracts, early cataracts, not usually cataracts that require surgery to remove them, but if you look in the, in the lens itself, you can see there's a darkening at the back of the lens. That occurs uh, earlier in life than you would expect, and about 20% of children have what are called cortical opacities at the back of the lens. That may cause one eye to be relatively lazy compared to the other. Uh, and in fact, this lazy eye problem in NF2 is much more common than in the general population. Uh, so we call it amblyopia. And sometimes it's explained by things like a cataract or another feature in NF2 is a, a benign uh, area at the back of the eye, the retina, called retinal hamartoma. And uh, so there are a few features in the eye which are more common. Um, about 5%, two, between 3 and 5% of NF2 patients develop meningiomas on the nerve to the eye, and that may obviously lead to visual loss. Um, but it's important to bear in mind, particularly if you have, say, a chi one child with NF2, and you're worried about the other child having it, that if you and your partner don't have NF2, the likelihood is very unlikely that you will have a second affected child. And that things like amblyopia, lazy eye, are common in the general population. So don't panic that it means your child has NF2. Excellent. Thank you very much.